The numbers Facebook reports are astounding. 900 million users, nearly 400 million who check in at least six days a week. 300 million photos uploaded each day. But the most amazing number is probably what the company says it's worth, over $100 billion. Facebook expects that will draw keen investors when shares go public this Friday. But will they bite? Our David Common now on the mood of the market. A company going public in a matter of days. You know, the biggest ever for an internet company. Highly anticipated initial public offering. In the world of business, there's never been a moment quite like this. A production worthy of Justin Bieber, but no, the star of this show. Back up. Which car Back is up. this? Mark Zuckerberg, nerdy creator of Facebook turned superstar. Hey, Mark, Mark, over here, over here. Bankers have become teenage girls, salivating as one of the best known, farthest reaching brands goes public. In so doing, it puts a value on the social network at nearly $100 billion. But is it worth it? How are, How are you? you? So we'll go right in here, is that it? Sure. Yeah. We ask Josh Brown, broker for the rich and famous. Will you tell your investors to get into Facebook now? No. Why? Once again, I can't make the numbers work. Wait, what? Even the oracle of investing billionaire Warren Buffett isn't interested right now? To understand what's going on, we head to Silicon Valley, California, Facebook's headquarters. So how does a company figure out how much it's worth on the stock market? Usually you start with how much money you make right now and multiply that by some factor. And here's where Facebook is really in a league of its own because the company executives back here believe it should be valued in a way no other company is. Here's Apple. Sales last year were $38 billion. On the stock market, the company is worth $528 billion, meaning its stock is 13 times earnings. Cisco is at 10 times, Intel 9 times, but Facebook says it should be worth 26 times. And those who will buy it are already being made fun of. But you'd buy into this IPO? No. You would not. No, absolutely not. You would not, not. and you would not. Certainly I as an individual. This is Muppet bait. Muppets in that story would be the general. Of course, like perfect timing for so Muppet bait. Elmo walks through our interview with analyst Max Wolf. I think the idea there is there is though they're a puppet on a string being pulled along by the hype into an investment that may or may not be prudent for them as an individual financial consideration. Part of what makes something valuable is the hype around it, and certainly Facebook is the gold winner in terms of the amount of anticipation on this name, the amount of lead up, the amount of discussion. And also let's remember, 900 million people around the world think they know this company because they interact with it. Here in California's Silicon Valley, Facebook remains the golden child. But there is a problem, a big problem with it. And to find out what, we're going to go in and chat with the one industry analyst who most closely watches technology here. Who or what is the biggest problem at Facebook right now? Zuckerberg. Zuckerberg, right, right now Zuckerberg is the biggest problem. The, the, uh, the uh, amount of authority that he has, the fact that he is behaving as, like, like he has no controls uh, around him, that represents the biggest risk for the company at the moment. So Zuckerberg, at 28 years old, is Facebook's greatest asset and also its biggest liability. Many Wall Street suits don't much like his hoodie. They fear he's immature, unreliable, and he's pulling all the strings. If the board's a facade, if the executive teams are all kind of, because he gets the final, if he goes off the rails, he has the full authority to take that company down. It's really nobody that can control him. Every product experience. When Zuckerberg bought Instagram for a billion, a photo sharing app, he didn't ask anyone, he just did it. And the future for Facebook is unclear. It makes most of its money now on ads, but makes next to nothing when users access the site through mobile devices. Its subscriber base has now plateaued at about 900 million. What are the odds that Facebook can't do it? Good. I mean, remember we've had, we've had uh, in, the, in the Valley, there are far more failures than successes. Uh, the, the last big failure was, uh, was Netscape. They, they could have been where Facebook is. And, through a lack of, largely a lack of maturity, they flamed out. For now, though, Facebook remains the rock stars of the investing world. The wealthy and paparazzi still flocking to see Zuckerberg. As his social network goes public, its price rockets higher, so too does demand. 
Facebook is pervasive and now heralding incredible growth. It's just not clear if it can keep it up. For The National, I'm David Common in Palo Alto, California.